Good morning. Today we're going to be talking about Hassan Kamil Sabah. Hassan Kamil Sabah was born in August 16, 1894, and he was a mathematician and an inventor, and he was a physicist in uh, research. Um, he he studied in the American University in Beirut, and he later on started teaching physics and math, uh, mathematics in the Imperial University of Damascus and in the American University of Beirut. He later on died in a horrible automobile accident and he was also the nephew of the writer Sheikh, uh, Sheikh Rida. The Lebanese engineer Hassan Kamil Sabah's dream was to build some powered cells in the Arabian desert. The main ingredients for solar power are sand and strong sun. In 1935, he declared that he would return to the Middle East and transform the Arabian desert into paradise, turning all the sand into cells capable of producing an immense energy. Between 1928 and 1935, Hassan Kamil Sabah is the author of more than 27 patents in the field of uh, space technology. The first solar cell he invented and tested will later be improved and manufactured by cell telephone laboratories in 1955. Hassan Kamil Sabah was loved by every Lebanese citizen for helping our community and raising Lebanon's name high as, as one of our inventors. And without him, we wouldn't have any solar panels nowadays. So, a school was made in Nabatiyya, Lebanon and named after him, and there was also a statue built there. Hassan Kamil Sabah has helped in many fields, most importantly the space industry by the solar panels, automotive industry by the solar electric cars, television, sport generating stations, electric instruments, and many heavy industries.